watu wengine watatu wameuawa katika shambulizi jipya katika kaunti ya Marsabit. Inakisiwa kuwa waliotekeleza unyama huo ni wavamizi kutoka nchini Uhabeshi. Wenyeji wanalalama kwamba mashambulizi haya yanazidi kushuhudiwa licha ya wanajeshi waliotumwa eneo hilo kuimarisha usalama kuwepo. Muhammad Ali ana taarifa kamili. Hata baada ya kuuawa kwa makumi ya watu na wengine zaidi ya 1060 kuachwa bila makao katika vita vinavyozidi kukita mizizi kati ya jamii ya Waborana na Gabra watu wengine watatu wamejeruhiwa vibaya huku mmoja akiwa papo hapo katika mashambulizi ya kinyama katika kitongoji cha Dukana huko Marsabit na wavamizi wanaodaiwa kutoka nchi jirani ya Ethiopia We today have uh, evacuated uh, three critical patients from up north in northern Kenya because of uh, gunshots they have abdominal injuries and there's one gentleman who has a possible fracture of his leg. The residents of Lukana Gabras and the riders came from Ethiopia that being a border town and uh, the people who are brought here are those who were injured in the process. We are told the uh, animals have been taken and uh, much as we cannot confirm the numbers but you know the camels which have been taken have not been recovered some cattle have been recovered but some also have not been recovered and uh, the situation is still tense kumekuwa na ripoti kinzani kuhusiana na kini cha mashambulizi hayo ya mara kwa mara huku kila jamii kionekana kuvuta kamba kwake na kutaja mzozo huo kama mzozo ulioanzishwa na wanasiasa the attack happening in Dukana or that part of the, the country it is clearly political it's clearly there's no two way about it because people are not fighting over the grazing land or grazing right or uh, people are not fighting over the water catchment since the elections <coughs> this kind of attacks have been there in the other area and uh, now it's like it's spreading to the wider Masabit county it could be a continuation of the same hadi kufikia leo licha ya wanajeshi wa Kenya kutumwa katika maeneo yaliyoathiriwa Agosti mwaka jana kudumisha amani bado hali ya waka inazidi kutanda but ali requested the government to leave the security on the ground that's why the KDF was in Moyale so we still call upon the government but the whole of the borderline right from uh, whole borderline from Lake Turkana all the way to Moyale they have to deploy the KDF there so to make sure because this one is clearly a KDF job it's an incursion from a foreign country haikuna serikali serikali ni mwenye bunduki yako serikali yako bunduki yako idadi ya wakimbizi inazidi kuongezeka huku wengi wakikimbilia taifa jirani la Ethiopia kilomita kama moja hivi na wengine wakilazimika kupiga kambi ndani ya shule zilizoko eneo hilo Muhammad Ali KTN leo